We are Carl and Caddy. Together, we are Nowhere Bound Touring. We've been adventuring for over three years now around Australia in our truck and our caravan. Sharing our full-time life on the road, we take you to some interesting and unique locations along with sharing tips and tricks of how to make caravan life that little bit easier. Good morning everyone. I'm up reasonably early this morning at what time is it? Quarter past six. I've had me brekkie and I've got a bit of a mission. I fixed me bed hair ready for the camera and I'm right to go. So today I am going to replace our old or existing roof hatch. It's a mini hikey roof hatch and I've always disliked it. It's not very good. It's not dust proof. Well, it is now since I modified it. Um, the uh, fly screen always gets caught, it's bent. It's just a poor design. Blows open in the wind. People can easily get in and out of it if you're not there. You know what I mean? All those sorts of things. So we're replacing that with a Max Fan Deluxe, which is a fan that can move air both ways. So it can take air out of the van and it can force it into the van. It's thermostatically controlled. Um, I've modified it. I'll show you to hopefully make it dust proof. Hopefully it still works. It's a little bit more difficult to close. And since it's an electric close, there might be an issue, but we'll see how we go. So you can set this for a temperature and it will automatically lift the lid and turn on. So let's say you go shopping or you're away for the day and you know you set it for 30 degrees. It will hopefully switch on at 30 degrees and either push air in or suck air out of the van whatever you want and the rain can't come in so when you get back your van is hopefully not stinking hot but we'll let you know in the future how that goes but for now I need to fit it in here there is a little issue being that the fan that we're installing is smaller than the hole in the existing one so I have made up adapter plates one for the top and one for the bottom and we're going to fix them in place and hopefully attach the fan wire it up i've already got wiring there for it pre-wired it a while ago so we should be able to disconnect that up and we should be good to go as you can see caddy's still asleep hi darling <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> look it's daylight it's time to get up I'm sleeping. The birds are even up. I don't care, I'm not. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Let's crack on with it. My first job is to get the old roof hatch off, obviously. So I've parked the truck, backed it up so I can climb up onto the roof. And we'll cut the old roof hatch off. Normally I park it sidewards because it's much easier for me to climb up but it uh, restricts that I can get into the side to where my tools and all that sort of thing are so I'll just back it up climb up and it should be fine
Well, after a bit of trouble this morning, as in I couldn't get the original hatch off the roof, it was hell to get it off and it was uh, damaging the, the composite panel and all of that. But anyway, we got through all of that and a bit of rain coming in and a bit of rain through the hatch and a bit of rain when I was trying to seal it all up and all of that sort of thing. We've almost got it in. Just need to connect the wires up. I made a few modifications on it and put a better seal for dust on it which has caused a few other little issues like it can't quite open as far and it can't quite close as far. So I hope that's going to be okay. If not, oh well, we'll have to put a different seal on it. <laughs> we only just need to take the top off to do the seal so it's not a massive thing. Um, just need to connect up the wires and we can give it a test run and see what it's like. It looks okay. It looks fairly well made. It's not a super cheap hatch. It was about $500. I think it was, was it 500? Yeah, 550 mm. bucks. Mm. So it's a, a deer hatch, but it seems to be well proven, well liked in America, and all the vans and all of those sort of people love it. So it's super quiet, good, and everything else. Obviously they don't go off road and do the Gibb River Road all the time and all of that. So we'll see how it goes, but it looks good. Well, it's all finished and it all looks good. Even the surround looks fine. Almost looks like it was uh, made with it like that. It's got a remote and you can either set it to automatic. So as soon as the internal temperature exceeds the external, it just automatically switches on and off. You can manually control it by just turning it on, opening it up. It can either suck air out or, if you can read that, put air in so it can blow or suck. Or, you can run it with the hatch closed as just a ceiling fan to just move air around. Looks all good. Only thing is the surround's a little bit flimsy around here. It's the only thing I can really see. But apart from that, yeah, looks great. We're going to enjoy it in the humid weather when we go north. Now there's just one more hatch that I've got to do. And that is this absolute atrocity in the bathroom. This is going, it doesn't clip properly. It always flops around in the wind. You hear it all night doing this sort of stuff. So we're gonna do that as well. I'm at it again, modifying, changing or fixing stuff. Well, as you probably know, I've disliked our shower roof vent from day one. It bangs in the wind and it's just crappy design, things are breaking on it, and I've been looking for a replacement. Well, happily, Vic Off-Road has supplied us one. So we're gonna have a look at that now. Hopefully it's much better quality than this, and um, rip this one out and install the new one. And then we'll have, hopefully, a nice hatch in the shower to match our other great one that's been performing well that I installed earlier. Well, I'm out in my workshop, and I've got my trusty stepladder, the truck. It works well like this for getting on the van roof. We've used it before, especially side on. It makes it really easy, except I need to remember to get everything out of the canopy that um, I need, because obviously I can't open it once we're here. So let's open it up and have a look. This is a roof vent by Sanhema. We'll check it out. Oh, the fan looks quite good. It's um, got an 
impressive seal on the inside it's a lovely seal and a lovely mating face for the seal which is great for a change so that all looks really good and looks great so I hope um, it fits in <laughs> <laughs> it might be a snug fit I just measured the hole and yeah we'll have to just see we will uh, we'll have a look at it it's got a nice stainless steel hinge on the back that's mm. for sure looks good looks yeah looks really good eh? mm. tinted everything else it's got um, two speeds it can go in and out so it can blow or suck oh. just like our other one which is nice mm. just in case you wanted to do that even though you just normally suck but you never know big fan much better I'm happy <laughs> He won't be happy when he starts installing it. No, I'm not happy about getting the uh, the ceiling off the roof. That's just a hell job. No one should have to do that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll have a look. Let's make sure, first things first, measure and make sure it fits. Since the last one didn't and we had to modify everything. <laughs> so hopefully it'll fit. Let's measure. The moment of truth. 350 by 350. Let's see. 355 by 355 exactly to the millimeter exactly square we're all good let's rip into it how discolored it is that's always been shit look at the fan would you it's just like a friggin i don't know what you want to call that like a fan you put on top of your cap you know those ones that turn around the top of your cap? <laughs> That's what it is. Like, oh, yeah, seriously, it is. look at it. It's not even, it's just a stirrer. It just oh. moves air around. And as normal, Bush Tracker have done an amazing job. Like, their finish everywhere is just incredible. All sealed, welded, nice, bushed, where the wires come out. You know what I mean? They just do an incredible job. And that's what you pay for. Mm -hmm. But you get it back in spades in reliability. And things don't break and fall off and all that. There's always something little, but nothing major ever. So we're up onto it. So this is steel, so that is not sort of nice. And it's, what is it? Ventline by Dexter Axle Company, Bristol, India. Mm. But there appears to be some little bit of water damage on our ceiling. So I don't know whether that's from something leaking or whether it is simply just from rain getting in here and um, you know what I mean, running down the side when it's been raining and we've left the hatch up. Anyway, she's got to go. Rip all this stuff off, hopefully, and we'll take it from there. Well, after lots of sweat, I've uh, got it in. It's not the best job in the world, but it's done. Go inside and we'll do the inside surround and wire it up. Fuse. Yeah. Give us a spare fuse. Wow. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. In and Ooh. Yay. Whoa. Good job. That's gonna make like a hurricane in the shower. <laughs> shut the door. Yeah, it's gonna have full suction. <laughs> it does. If you have the window shut, well, there'll be no uh, steam coming out in winter. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Then this one, you have to wait for it to stop. Right before, before you go in reverse. Okay. But we wouldn't generally have it in reverse no. unless we have no towels and we can turn that on to dry ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hvad er smashes de er i før? Hvem sagde hvor hun har mors? Fans all done. And it looks great. Sucks a lot of air. So we'll see how it goes. Works well so far though. Looks pretty. Makes a pretty blue in the uh in the shower. G'day everyone. I'm up reasonably early this morning. I'm not sure whether you can tell by my bed hair. Haha, <laughs> bit too early for a dad joke. But anyway, I'm up reasonably early this morning. Quarter past six. Uh, I've had my brekkie and I've got a bit of a mission today. So I'm into it. Well, it's finished. Good job. It all looks good. I'm speaking to the camera. <laughs> you can manually control it. You can, when I work it out, uh, how do we do it? Searching for a replacement one for a while, and we're super happy to, we're super happy, we're happy to work in conjunction. We're happy to have been supplied one. Yeah. An alternative one. And what did I just say? I forgot. What are you doing? Look at Caddy with her glasses on. She Sorry. looks like a secretary. Where do you work? In a bank? No. A clothing I store? I work here. A <laughs> medical receptionist? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh. An editor? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Hey! Oh, sorry, I got my hey. eyes digressed. <laughs> what? I was just looking at your features. Yeah. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. If you'd like to be more involved, check out our Patreon page or our website.